right. This is the rest. Exit is three and fifteen. For more breakdown into the real name of Ahaya, the creator of all, and Yeshaya, the Messiah, check out the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Jewish bastards have corrupted English, not the original Paleo-Hebrew. Anyone can see the real scrolls at the museums or even online now, and it says Ahaya is his name. His name means that I exist. I is, I am, I be. Ah, as a prefix, means I. I should give you the strong concordance here. The Hebrew word Haya also means exist or be. Let's see? H 2967. I, 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 me, my. 3551, me. 1946, mine. 494, I, mine, own, myself, are, us. I mean, for my sake, we. Haya means exist or be. Strong's H 1933. Ha, Haya. Or Haya. A primitive root word compare H 183, H 1961. Supposed to mean properly to breathe, to be in. The sense of existence, King James Version B, have. The Hebrew word Haya also means exist or be. The Strong's H1961, Haya, Haya. A primitive root word, compare H1933. To exist, an example, be or become, come to pass. Always emphatic and not a mere copula or auxiliary. King James Version B can altogether be, come, accomplish, committed, like, break, cause, come, to pass, do, faint, fall, follow, happen, have, last, pertain, quit, one. Furthermore, let's look at Exodus 3 again. Exodus 3.13 And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers have sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? Moses is talking to the Elohim, God's powers, Yiddish Elohim, and Acts 2 questions what's his name and what shall I say unto them Exodus 3 and 14 and God said unto Moses I am that I am he said thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel I am hath sent me to you the power said out of their own mouth volition the definition of his name or the meaning of his name. They said he exists because he exists. 
he is who he chooses to be or he is becoming who he is becoming then he answers the question what shall I say unto them first he says tell them I am or literally the exit the exist or he exists sent me to the youth Exodus 3 15 and God said moreover unto Moses thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel the Lord God of your fathers the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob have sent me unto you this is my name forever and this is my memorial unto all generations then he answers the other question of his name in Paleo Hebrew and Assyrian Hebrew wherever you see the Lord slash God it is in Hebrew as Ahia the power said Ahia power of your fathers have sent me unto you this is his name forever we have to remember Jesus is a Greek English name derived from Zeus therefore Jesus is not his true name and his spoken slash written language which is Hebrew and not the modern Hebrew you hear today which is in fact Yiddish there is no letter J even to this present day there is no letter J know that calling the father God is okay but he is way more than just a God I know we have came to know them as Jesus and God, but I think like this. There are many gods. My name is John, but in Spanish, it's Juan. Even though it is the same name, just different tongue, Juan is not my name. Actually, my name will be Juan Salvaje. And I learned that from my Spanish teacher, Mr. Flores, in um, Libby High School. He was a great man. Rest in peace, Mr. Flores. Definitely and truly missed. He was a stand-up dude. Uh, he was of Latin descent. Very funny. Very serious. Um, but like you could tell, you know, he was a loving man too. Very stern though. Very strong. But you know, not. I you could. T it's just he was a perfect blend. You know, not so stern and hard where he was. You know. But he was a good man, so that's who taught me my name in Spanish, Juan Salvaje. <laughs> um, Juan is not my name, and I will not answer to Juan because my name is not Juan, it is John. He winks at us in our ignorance, but at some point we have to grow up. I think he will call himself what his mother Miriam, parentheses Mary, named him in which she was told to name him Yeshaya. Let me show this picture here. This is not Yeshaya, but this is what the Lord, Yeshaya, Jesus, Hamashiach, the Messiah, Christ, would have looked like. Dark skin and hair like wool, Afro. No one today knows what he truly looks like. We have his description and we know his heritage as well as our true Israel own. Proverbs 30 and 4. Why is it asking us what their names are? are if their names are in the scriptures it seems like this verse is asking us to do some research the most high in his son have many titles but they only have one name 
Most people say his name is Jesus or Jehovah, which is the English version of his Hebrew name. But remember, he did not speak English, nor did Miriam. When she named her son, they both spoke Hebrew. Example, the prime minister of Israel's name is Netanyahu, which is Nathaniel in English. When our president meets Netanyahu, he does not call him Nathaniel to make it easier on himself because he, our president, speaks English. Out of respect, he does not change the prime minister of Israel's name to what he will be called in English. Bastard? Oh, sorry. Um, example, my name is John in my native tongue, English. John was the name of, John was the name my mother gave me, but in Spanish, my name is Juan. I will not answer to Juan because my name is not Juan and I don't speak Spanish. Example, Sony has the same name on its manuals, even though the manuals come in different languages. The name Sony stays the same, even though the manual might come in Spanish, French, German, Chinese, etc. My point, just because the Bible had to be translated into English because we speak English, the names of the people did not have to be changed. This was a trick of the enemy. We have to know what his true name is. The letter J is around 500 years old, 1524, Gian Giorgio Trissino. Italian Renaissance grammarian gave us the letter J. The name Jesus did not exist 500 years ago. Look at 1611 King James Version Bible. There were no J's at the time this specific Bible was published. People say there is power in the name Jesus, but the Messiah tells us where the power comes from. Matthew 9 verse 20. Woman with the issue of blood was made whole by her faith. She never said his name. The power is in faith. Luke 17, 17 through 19. When our Savior healed the ten lepers, they did not call his name. He told the one leper that came back to say, Thank you, your faith has made thee whole. No name was used. Acts 19, uh, 13 through 16. Even though the man had the name, he still had no power because he had no faith. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves This means his people, prophets, will have his name Which is the Haya, Yah for short, in their name Jeremiah 15 and 16 For I am called by thy name, O Lord Ahia, God of hosts Jeremiah said he is called by Ahia's God name Remember there was no letter J in that time So his name was spelled Yeremiah, Y I R M E Y A H. And in the Hebrew, there is no Aya, it's Yah. The English spelling of these names are incorrect, but the pronunciation is correct. Jer All right, so speaking of names, um, I have a list of names here, just a few. Uh, where you can see where the Most High put, you know, part of his name, Yah, and his servant's name, and his prophet's name, people, you know, that was in the Bible, uh, that was of importance that we all have heard about, um, and that's not to say that, you know, people that's not of importance don't have Yah in their name either, because we still to this day, we still put uh, Yah in our names. Um, I think of like a few names that I know, like Takiya, Takiya, you know, or Nakaya, you know. So um, we still use Yah, and that is. You know, that stands for the most high. So that's how you know another way that we are still these people. So you have Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Yah will rise, Isaiah, Yeshaya, Yah has saved, Obadiah, serving Yah, Elijah, or Eliah, Yah is my God, Nehemiah, Yah comforted, Zephaniah. 
Yah has secreted Zechariah. Yah has remembered Josiah or Yoshia, found it of Yah. Ad Adoniah, Yah is my Lord. Abia, Yah is my father. Akia, Yah is my brother. Uriah, Yah is my light. Mel Malchiah, Yah is my king. Hodai Hodiah, Yah is my majesty. Tobiah, Yah is my goodness. Yiriahu, Yah sees me. Eliyahu, Yah is my God. Then we have John, Yachana equals gift of Yah. Last but not least, the one you call Jesus is Yeshaya, the anointed will save. Psalms 68 and 4 equals Yah, but it was cut in half. Hallelujah equals the highest praise. Praise ye Yah. Now, side note, I do want to say that um, through my, the course of my research, I have found... Uh, some I found a breakdown about the word hallelujah um, and uh, the breakdown I can't remember where I seen it but it was trying to say that the word hallelujah is not what it means and I'm kind of indifferent about it you know um, I still use hallelujah uh, you know but uh, I need to come across that breakdown it was a while ago uh, you know, but uh, for now, I'm just keep it as you know, hallelujah is the highest praise. Um, you know, I do believe that, like I said, the most high winks at us in our ignorance. Um, you know, so and you know, he he know what um, sincere and not sincere. So I need to find that breakdown again, though and come across that I wrote it down somewhere I have so much stuff like written down and saved and it's, it's just crazy <laughs> alright so understanding the Hebrew the word Lord will not appear the following scripture from the Bible was changed from hallelujah originally to praise ye the Lord Keep in mind the Bible was changed four major times and English from Latin slash Greek was the last time it has been changed in a major way. Note the following Psalms 104 verse 35, 105 verse 45, 106 verse 48, 111 verse 1, 112 verse 1, 113 verses 1 and 9, chapter 115, verse 18, chapter 116, verse 19, chapter 117, verse 2, 135, verses 1, 3, and 21, 146, verses 1 and 10, 147, verses 1, 20, 148, verses 1 and 14, 149, verses 1 and 9, 150, verses 1, 68 verse 5 and 19 77 verses 12 chapter 89 verse 9 94 verse 7 12 chapter 102 verse 19 chapter 106 verse 1 chapter 12 verse 2 chapter 26 verse 4 and in Exodus uh, chapter 15 verse 2 17 verse 6 Please keep in mind they are not praising the name Jesus in heaven. The man is being praised, but they are not calling him Jesus. Um, when we get to heaven, if we make it to heaven, we won't call him Jesus either. Words such as Sunday, Easter, Christmas, Church, Amen, Lord, Jesus, Christ, names of the days of the week, names of God along with ten other words all came from Catholicism and sun worship. Many divisions of Christianity come from the Catholic Church. Just for example, the early Christian Church, Roman Catholic Church, Anglican, 
Church of England, Baptist, Seven Day Adventist, Church of God in Christ, or Pentecostal. There are many more. Babylon is a church, parentheses, great whore, writing the kingdoms of Esau, parentheses, Edom equals Rome. Idumia. She is the Roman Catholic Church and Christianity with all her different churches within the world. So yeah, the Catholic Church, when you hear about the mother harlot, when you hear, you know, read Revelation 17 and 18, you know, it's talking about the Catholic Church um, and her daughters. Uh, like the Church of God in Christ, um, Baptist, Seventh Day Adventist, you know, um, these are all like just like the Lutherans and the Presbyterians, these are all extensions of the Roman Catholic Church. You know that uh, the Pentecostal movement came later, so. I'm just saying. They are harlots because they don't keep the commands of Ahia. Example, the fourth command about the Sabbath. The second command, no graven image, parentheses, white Jesus and angel statues. There are approximately 38,000 Christian denominations in the world and about 99.9% .9 of them break at least two of the commands. The fourth command, which is remember the Sabbath, Saturday, well Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. 325 AD, the Roman Emperor Constantine infused paganism, Sunday worship, Mithraism, with Christianity to save his crumbling empire. They switched Sunday for the money. More people converted means more people to collect an offering from. Catholic Church elite leadership notice. Oh, here's another another picture. Put this stuff up. Oh, and I've shared all of this on Facebook. Who that Hoppo? You know, my family looked at me like I was crazy. Cause see they don't care about nothing, you know, but if this go viral, oh, they're going to care then. Or oh, they don't want to talk about it then. It's going to be talk of the town. But you know what? Keep it. I ain't interested in, in that or you. What's Saturn and Mithras? See? All these, this is before Christ. This was before Christ walked the earth, you know. They had already been doing this. And all they did was just use the Bible. Early believers kept Saturday as the Sabbath until March 7th, 321 CE. See, that's up. It's not just 
just your opinion. See, your pastor, he'll read one scripture and then close the Bible. That's all his opinion. This right here is a fact. This right here is recorded in history. That's what a fact is. I wonder, do they know what? I wonder, do Scott Bulldogs know what facts are? Mm -hmm. Early believers kept Saturday as the Sabbath until March 7th. 321 CE when Pope Constantine passed a law requiring believers to worship on Sunday, the day the pagans worshiped the sun god. Believers still kept Saturday as the Sabbath until another law was passed 11 years later. This law signed into decree by Pope Constantine Catholic forbid believers to worship on the Sabbath Saturday and it was punishable by death by Catholic church many believers were burned to death by the catholic church for keeping the sabbath antichrist oh what is this this is another fact <clears throat> black people swear they love to deal with facts until it until it pokes a bubble in what they believe in man here we go. I've already read this and uh, my uh, truth about Sunday. So, here we go. The word Jesus is used in the New Testament comes from the Latin form of the Greek name Aesus. This is why so many Hispanics have the name Jesus, but they pronounce it different. Well, they have the name Jesus, but they pronounce it different. Jesus. Aesus equals Jesus. Jesus was not the name according to the Hebrew scripture. In the Hebrew, it tells you who they praise in heaven. Revelation 19 verses 1 through 6 in the King James Version the word Alleluia was originally Hallelujah in the Hebrew it was translated to the Greek form of the word Alleluia to deceive they wanted to exclude the father and his son's name out because this scripture pertains to the slaying of the great whore the Catholic Church John 5 and 43 I come in my father's name and ye receive me not if another shall come in his own name him ye will receive the son came in the name of his father Jesus does not sound like the name of his father Ahia Yah in parentheses Yeshaya has his father's name in his name the correct name is Yeshaya Isaiah 42 and 8 keep in mind in the Hebrew it does not say Lord it says Ahia it should have read I am Ahia that is my name and my glory will I not will I not give to another neither my praise to graven images this is talking about the false image of white Jesus and the false name of Jesus all right, so this next part, um, sorry, no, this next part, um, I had came across um, something that <clears throat> I believe Watchmen uh, had did, and this was years ago, and so this was inspired, you know, by him. Uh, the Ten Virgins, Five Wise, Five Foolish, they all had things in common. One, all were virgins. Two, all have on wedding garments. Three, all were asleep. Four, all had oil. Five, all had lamps. Six, all lamps had oil. Seven, all lamps were lit. Eight, all heard the cry at midnight. Nine, all were waiting for the bridegroom. Ten, all arose when the cry was made. Eleven, all trimmed their lamps. The oil is not the symbol for the Holy Spirit. They all had the Holy Spirit. Matthew 25 verses 1 through 6. 
virgins equals holy brides. They all were clean and not living in sin. Well, actually separated the foolish from the wise. We know that they all had light because they had oil in their lamp. You can't have a light for the Most High unless you have the Holy Spirit, which is the light, not the oil. They did not have that extra oil, but what is that extra oil? Keep in mind, the scripture said the bridegroom came in the midnight hour, so it was darkness all around. When the cry was made at midnight, everybody arose, and those who had extra oil trimmed their lamps. They didn't need the extra oil when they started their journey, but the Most High knew they would need that extra oil towards the end of their journey. They needed that extra oil to light their path as they walked down the dark path to meet the Bridegroom, parentheses the Messiah. They didn't want to stumble and get their garments dirty. The five foolish virgins' light went out, and they couldn't see their way down the dark path, which meant they had to go purchase more oil, while the five virgin brides were accepted in. The five wise brides had that extra oil, and that extra oil is Proverbs 1, 5-7. A wise man will hear and will increase in learning equals knowledge equals fear of Ahia. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Wise inherit glory slash shame shall be a fool's promotion. Proverbs 8 verse 33. Hear instruction and be wise. Refuse it not. Proverbs 9 8 through 10. Rebuke a fool and they will scoff at you, but the humble will hear and will excel above the his teacher like David. Ecclesiastes 8 verse 5. The wise knows that the most high judgment is coming soon and they are trimming their lamps. They are becoming wise with that extra oil which is knowledge. The foolish simply did not know what time it was and the bridegroom came upon them like a thief in the night like it will be in the end of days which is very soon. The wise also keep his commandments. Ephesians 5 and 27. In the last days before he comes, he uses his words to cleanse his bride. The bride is cleansed by the blood of the lamb, water, and his word. He has to cleanse her of all the religious junk passed down to her by the Roman Catholic Church. His word equals truth, which set us free. Worship him in spirit and in truth, they go hand in hand. Lies, name of the Messiah. Jesus, Lord, God, Christ, and Jehovah. All these names came from the mother of harlots, parentheses, the Catholic Church. Why is it important to know the truth in the last days? Second Thessalonians 2 verse 12. Strong delusion in which the Catholic Church was spewing out lies back in the apostles' time, which is why Paul saw or saw said the mystery of iniquity is already working because the enemy was busy setting up shop for people of today the strong delusion is the false Jewish in Israel false names of Jesus false image a white image of Jesus come out of her my people so that you will not partake in her judgment Songs of Solomon 1 verse 3 Name is oil and the virgins love thee. The five wise virgins knew the father and son's real name and they were excited about his name, their name. But the, but the foolish are usually scoffers that can't be told anything because they know everything and they don't need no extra oil. They good with what they got. The end will be very sad for people like this that can't be told anything. <clears throat> Revelation 7 verses 2 through 3. Seal the servants of our God in their forehead. This deals with the elect that will be raptured, which is 144,000. And whoever else Ahia shows mercy to. 
It won't be many, just like in Noah's day. <clears throat> Most of the Christian church will go through the tribulation, the great tribulation. I know they don't like to, sorry, no. I know they don't like to tell y'all that, but you're not going to be raptured. Mm -mm. All them rapture movies where you see people just be disappearing. Mm -mm. It's not going to happen like that. That was, a, that was a story. It's not going to happen like that. And um, I, I do have a lesson on that. The rapture deception. Uh, but you want to be uh, left behind. You don't want to be taken. You do not want to be taken. As far as speaking on a rapture. Because you to be taken means... You were killed. So, uh, yeah, the rapture ain't gonna happen like what you think it's gonna happen. This deals with the elect that will be raptured, which is 144,000 and whoever else the highest shows mercy to. It won't be many, just like in Noah's day. Most of the Christian will go through the great tribulation. The seal is the father and son's name. Their true name, Ahia, Baishem, in the name of Yeshaya, Hamashiach, the Messiah, Wa, Rawak, Quadesh, and the Holy Spirit. This is their Hebrew names. These are their real names in ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue language. Just like there are two forms of English, Old English and Modern English, which is what we speak today. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. There is the ancient Paleo Hebrew, which had no vowel points. This was the language that Moses spoke, as well as all the prophets, the twelve apostles, Mary or Miriam, both uh, Yeshaya, who was called Jesus, and our Father Himself. Today, there is a modern Hebrew tongue, completely different from the ancient. The modern includes the vowels that we have in English today.